All right, we've got Nicosia Perry here for a few questions or for a few minutes rather. If you can raise your hand to ask a question, we'll call on you. Our first will come from Luke Hetrick, or whoop, Luke just put his hand down. We'll start with David Ferrandez of the Sun Sentinel. Uh, David, you can go ahead. Hey, Cozy. Uh, just to start, uh, what was your thought process uh, when you saw Derek went down and obviously uh, knowing you had to enter into this game? Um, I was ready right away because I was I was keeping up with every single play of the game. And right away when it happened, I, I knew it was I was about to go in and I was ready. Cozy, our next question will come from Luke, Luke Hetrick, uh, Spectrum News 13. Luke, you can go ahead. Nikosi, you've been here with this program for a couple of years now. It's been a steady growth for you guys. Uh, what does a result like this do? How does it impact the next step you guys want to take forward as a team? Uh, I think I think we took a positive step tonight, even though we didn't come out with the W. Uh, the whole game, the the team was acting like we were, we had to lead the entire game, and I think we're we really building something here, and it's going to be really great for us next season. Next question will come from Justin Yee. Justin, you can go ahead and unmute when you're ready. Hi, Justin from Oxby Media here. Perry, you played your tail off when you came into the game. What were some areas of improvement you want to see from the rest of the team going forward? Uh, we, I feel like we need to improve in all areas. And uh, to, with my play, I definitely want to improve on my accuracy and things like that. But I feel like we need improvement in all areas of our game. And we're not bad at all. But if we improve, then I feel like we can be unbeatable. Next question will come from David Wilson. David, you can go ahead when you're ready. Hey, Nicosi. Um, you obviously, you know, when, when Derek comes in, there were probably a lot of times there where maybe you could have, you know, thought you wanted to transfer or do something like that. Um, I'm just curious, did, did those thoughts ever cross your mind over the last 12 months here? And, and kind of what made you want to stick it out? And, and you know, obviously, you, you end up getting a good opportunity like you did today. Uh, I'm committed to this school and now right now is not the time to be talking about transferring or anything like that. Uh, I'm all about the U and just want to get back with my team as of right now. Got time for a couple more for Nicosi. Uh, we'll start, we'll go next with Manny Navarro. Manny, you can go ahead when you're ready. Uh, hey, Nicosi. Um, curious, you, you were able to keep the offense going pretty easily and moving down the field. Um, what did you tell the receivers? Because they were dropping passes, obviously, and, and you kept going to them. You kept going to Mark Pope. You kept going uh, to D. Wiggins. Uh, when, when guys are going through situations like that, how do you try to keep encouraging them? Like you said, um, I kept going to them, and that's what I told them. I told them I'm going to keep coming back to you. Like I trust I trust all my receivers, and, and I just try to give them the confidence that they need to go out there and make a play, and we didn't make them all tonight, but I still trust my receivers. If I had to go make a throw right now, I, I would throw it again. Got time for two more for Nicosi. We'll do Matt Michelle from the Orlando Sentinel next and David Wilson after that, and then we'll wrap up. Uh, Matt, you can go ahead. Nicosi, did, did Derek say anything to you after he came back from the locker room with the injury? Did he, what, what did he say to you to kind of maybe motivate you to go out there and play? Uh, I was already motiv motivated from before the game and the time that I got once I got in the game, but when King came back out, uh, he was just just giving me words of encouragement, like keep the guys going and stuff like that. Uh, telling me I'm doing a great job here and there, even if I'm not, you know, just just positive energy. And that's what the whole sideline had all night. One more for Nicosi. we'll do David Wilson. David, you can go ahead whenever you're ready. Hey, Nikosi, uh, obviously, you know, the last time we really got to see you play a lot, you were playing a very different style of offense. Uh, now you've, you've had a year learning Coach Lashley's system, and it seems to suit you really well. Just what do you kind of like about that, and what, what do you think uh, about this current offense maybe suits you pretty well? Uh, to be honest, I, I, love, I love this offense. Uh, I love Coach Lashley as an offensive coordinator. I feel like he's one of the best to do it, one of the best I've, I've ever been coached by. And... That's pretty much it. I love it. I love everything about it. Nikosi, thank you for your time. Uh, we will uh, let you go with that. Uh, again, appreciate it. And we will move on and, and have uh, Oklahoma State 
players and coaches in next. Nikosi, thank you, and uh, good luck this offseason. Thank you. Go Kings.